Wales take on South Africa this weekend in their final game of the Autumn Internationals. This is my preview and prediction for this match, so if you do enjoy, do subscribe, like and leave your comments in the section down below. First of all, let's look at South Africa and let's analyse how can Wales get at South Africa and what are the things we need to be wary of when we come up against the Springboks. South Africa like to use a blitz defence, which means they come up to target the attacking players quickly. As you can see from this try, Scotland managed to get around this by playing quick ball, which catches the South Africans out. If Wales can do this, they stand a very good chance of getting some tries and then some important points. One man we will have to be wary of is Andre Pollard, the number 10 for South Africa. As you can see from this try, LaRue receives the ball as the receiver and Pollard is on his side. He's also a very good kicker, so he won't be able to give silly penalties away. What about ourselves? What about Wales? What can we do to try and beat the Springboks? Let's have a look once again now at what we can do to beat them. One of the biggest developments we've had as a team is our attack in play. Here against Tonga, we show fantastic offloading ability to get one of the tries of the autumn. If we can do this against the blitz defence of South Africa, we'll stand a good chance of... Sidestep from the scrum half. So the teams have been announced for Wales big calls with Liam Williams at fullback and then Anscombe starting at 10. Josh Adams gets a chance again on the wing as well as George North. Sticking pretty much with the same team except for Liam Williams coming in is the decision of Warren Gatsland. If you do want to know what my team would have been to face the Springboks, check it out, link in the description down below. So how do I see this one going? Well, as I've said in many previous videos to do with South Africa, they are a physical side. We know that we're going to have to dominate physically if we want to win. And historically, over the past 10 years under Gatland's reign, we have been physical. We have dominated games physically. But as you saw from the previous clip, we are able to attack now and make big impacts on a match through attacking play. I think it's going to be vital that our scrum is secure and our line-out is strong because we know that Springbok set pieces are always very, very strong. But I do think we're going to come away with a win. It's going to be very, very close. It's going to be our toughest test of the autumn so far. But I think we're going to come away with a win in this one. We'll win by five to seven points or so. I think we are going to do it. But what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments down below. If you have enjoyed this preview, do subscribe. Hit the notifications button so you do not miss the reaction and the review video, which will be out after the match. Thank you very much for watching. Take it easy. Peace.